Hi, thanks for joining me today. Now we're looking at a really interesting thing today when it comes to the categories that your competitor is using for Google My Business. So is it possible to find out what categories they're using and ranking well in? Well, you'll know that these are hidden, but I'm gonna reveal how you can find out what they are. I'm also going to look at what the best number of categories prime and subcategories are for you to use for your business. So make sure you stay with me now as we go into this, uh, this tutorial together. So I'm Zane from Zanet Design and I help businesses like yours grow on the internet. I help you to perhaps see ways in which you can perhaps gain a, a, an edge on your competitor. I look for ways in which you can increase your website so that it shows on areas in search terms in Google My Business, uh, looks at ways of improving so that your visitors will come to your business and give you the business that you deserve. So stay with me now as we go into this tutorial together. And uh, as always, I encourage you to make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my up and coming videos. So let's go straight into this tutorial. So this is a really uh, important thing to consider is uh, your primary category is now the most important uh, part of your listing when it comes to the categories that you're being listed under. So you'll know that uh, when you first set up a business, you have to work out your primary category and then your additional categories too. And in the past, you could have up to 10 uh, additional categories or nine others. Uh, I think in more recent times, there's about five that probably is dependent on uh, what type of business you have. Um, the suggestion is now really just concentrate on the primary category and maybe one or two other additional categories. And also the key thing is, is these additional categories, um, don't just randomly pick some that are half associated, but pick some that are very relevant to your, uh, your particular business. And the reason for this is that Google also is aware of what you're talking about on your post, on your blog, on your website. And if the additional categories and the primary category don't match what you're specifically dealing with, then the, uh, the way in which you're ranked on Google My Business will uh, vary dramatically. So what we're going to look at is particularly what can you do to see what your competitors who are very similar to you, what is it that they are choosing for their additional categories? You'll be able to see their primary category, but often you can't see their additional categories. So let's see if you're wanting to set that up, how you could go about that. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to look at, uh, say property services. So let's type that in property services. And we'll go for Oxford. And what this does is it will just give us then all the property services that are found in that area. And obviously there's an advert there, so we can ignore that. But we're interested in really what are the main companies, what are your competitors if you were a property service, what are they using? Now you can see here straight away that the, the number one is a property management company. So would that fit? Is that specific to you? Here we have an estate agent. Here we have a property management company again, so that seems quite common, and again, and again. So property management company, if you're a property services, may well be uh, the main category to choose. Uh, property maintenance is another one. Uh, and somehow photography's come up in here, property management. And these things, there's quite a lot of spammy stuff is still being dealt with, but property management company seems to be quite a good one to go with. Um, and that's kind of very much fitting with how Google views property services. So, but what we're going to do is particularly see, are there other categories, are there subcategories that your competitors are using? And if so, what are they using? Now, if you just go to, so if we take Finders Keepers, which is the first one, so this looks like it's a, a large company. It's got many ratings, property management company, but that's all we can know. We just know that their priority or their, their main category is property management company. But there is a way in which you can find their subcategories. And the way to do this, because it's hidden, is to do a search in Google Maps, or in Google, first of all, for the company. So um, what we'll do, it's called Finders Keepers, and it's there. So we take the address, because I think it's more of a national company. So I'll put in there uh, Finders Keepers, and there we go, so it's come up 22 in Oxford. So we'll do that. 
And what we're going to do now is rather than go to the Google My Business, which doesn't actually tell us anything other than the fact that that's interesting, property management company is there as well. So that's their key category, their prime category. We're going to take that and we're going to go to Maps. So we're doing it through Maps and not through Google My Business. And now that will come up and we're just specifically looking at them. If I now do a right click and depending on what browser you've got, but if I'm using um, uh, Chrome, uh, if you go to view page source, which you should be able to do in any of the browsers now. And then if you press control and F, this gives you a find feature. And I just want to find that particular, so I just clear that so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm finding, I'm pressing paste on property management company. And the reason I'm doing that is because I know that that's one of their categories. Now what they'll do is it'll find all the references to that. And this is now a hidden code. So here we've got, this is the, uh, the code and finders keepers, their first category, their prime category is this one, property management company, no surprise. But notice here, they've also got then as their subcategories, apartment letting agency, property rental agency, and then that's it. So they've got, and that's probably what I would agree with, having three. And those are probably the three that through their research is probably the right three to have for their particular company. Now there are others, if we go down the page, you'll notice that there's uh, others uh, using estate agent, um, you've got property rental agency, uh, and these are all a bit further down the page. And uh, you may find that these are more relevant, I mean, holiday home letting. But ideally what you want to do is see what your competitors are doing, the ones that are closest to you, and then see is property consultant or is apartment letting agency, is that relevant to you? These are the things that others are using. It gives you a great um, understanding of what your competitor is doing too. So hopefully that'll be useful to uh, understand how you can then use the categories that your competitor's using. And then of course what you do is you enter them in here. So if we took that first one, apartment letting, say that was, uh, say that was the, uh, the most relevant next one, actually property management company. So if we were to use that one, because we haven't even got that one here, if I start typing it in, property, and then you'll see management company comes up there and then that's it. And you can keep adding more categories if you want, but that would be the way in which you can add the right ones. Notice here though, that it can take three days to be published. Um, it is often checked. And obviously the idea behind that is so that people aren't just turning up um, on uh, random things like we saw here, photography coming under property services. I mean, how does that work? I have no idea. Anyway, hopefully this has been useful. Uh, again, I'm always providing tips to help small businesses like yours to grow on the internet. I've got a couple of other really good tips I'm gonna be releasing in the next few days. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss them. Uh, if you press the bell as well, if you're on YouTube, you'll find then it will alert you when that next video comes out. So I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks.